Ladies and gents, we're here at Shardana, down in Play It and Bossa, to catch up with Steve Lawler before he goes across to Sankey's and hosts his Night Fever Warriors. Steve, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah, really good. Only a couple minutes before you go on. How things? Yeah, i got five minutes, yeah. <laughs> cool, well, listen, well, obviously we wanted to catch up with you about your recent Bull House Studios photo shoot, which we did with you down at Ocean Drive Hotel. How'd you enjoy that? It was amazing, actually. I mean, it's always a pleasure working with Emma and the guys. They're super professional. But at the same time, which I think is really important, you feel like super relaxed with these people. And, you know, I, I think I can speak for a lot of DJs. When you're not really a model and used to being in front of the camera and having your picture taken, it really helps when you're with people that make you feel relaxed. And that particular shoot was uh, was quite interesting. It's a whole different idea. So. I mean, Woolhouse definitely do have that element to them where they make people feel really comfortable, great to work with. Yeah. But I think another element that was added to it was you brought a special concept down to the shoot. So do you want to tell us about that? Well, I'd noticed, um, I was reading a magazine and I saw this whole article about um, iconic photo shoots. Um, from around the 60s with, uh, um, you know, uh, Janis Joplin, uh, Jim Morrison, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, even right up to David Bowie, you know, and all these sh shots were staged in a hotel room. Some of them were like the morning after, some of them were just like a really sort of minimal uh, kind of dry shot, but all in a hotel room. And it kind of, it made me think that, you know, uh, we spend probably a good third of our life in hotel rooms and um, probably a good quarter of our life at after parties. So I try to, you know, and, and not that I've seen it before, not in our world, in, in the electronic community, I have not seen a photo shoot like that before. So the idea was to do something stage, a setup which we kind of are all familiar with um, and see how it looks. And uh, it was quite fun trashing the hotel room. <laughs> I mean, that usually happens, but not, not in 10 minutes like that. So, uh, no, it was fun. Yeah, it was quite a creative and rapid hotel trashing, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was, um, <laughs> Emma got really super carried away. Yeah, it was good. It was really great to have you part of this massive project. Obviously, we had over 11 different artists that week, and um, it was nice to do something really different and unique with you as well. So, thank you for bringing your great concepts along, and I think it's, the end product is going to look great as well. So. And obviously you're, you're much of a concept man, talking about Viva Warriors as well. Your night at Sankey is going extremely well and you know, you've based it around the concept of the movie. And do you want to tell us more about how you actually came well, to that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to take the credit for it. The idea was my tour manager. He came out with the idea and, you know, there's a whole team of people that work on Viva Music and the events and the artists, development, all the rest of it. And it was brought up in a meeting and nobody said a word, but the reaction around the table you know, spoke a thousand words, everybody was like blown away by this idea. Firstly, because no one else had, not that we know of, had, uh, had staged a night uh, and a concept around an iconic movie. I've not seen that done before. Um, so that, I'm always really attracted to things that are original and have a new idea to them. And because I've not seen that before, for me that was an instant, you know, attraction. But also then when you think about the film, and I love the movie, I think the movie's hilarious, and the whole sort of, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, the rebellious sort of edge of the, of, the, of the youth of that generation, it kind of ties in nicely to the youth of our generation to a certain degree. Obviously not in the fighting side of things, but the whole, you know, the, the, the people of the night, you know, and uh, so there was just some, some nice elements there and just the whole sort of for us we could really utilize the whole getting dressed up and having fun and you know really because that's what it's about actually yeah. above all the trying to be clever you know it's really about it being fun for people fun for us and, and about a vibe and atmosphere and with this concept we can really get stuck in with that so it's perfect Look, I mean, I've heard nothing but good things so far about the night. Do you want to tell us how it's been going so far? It's been going amazing. I mean, we, you know, uh, for me, I'm so grateful that all the people that work hard on it have worked hard, you know, right from Miguel through to Matt, through to Bex and Lorna and Bridie and everybody at the club, um, even the bar staff, everybody's just been so, so nice. And for me, I've not had to worry about this night, you know, coming into a beef for doing a new night for some people. I think they've had a lot of worries this year. Will it be busy? Won't it be busy? All this sort of thing. But it's gone. It's gone amazingly well. We've been packed. We've had a great crowd. The music. Everyone that we've had to play for us has been phenomenal. 
there's not about you know there's not anything that I can say that would be a, a doubt in, and it's just been amazing. So I'm actually really happy for the fact that I don't have to worry any week. I know that I'm going to get here and the place is going to be slammed with a good crowd and we're going to have it. And it's an amazing sound system in that club. It really is. I mean, you've, you've chosen a great club to work with and it really fits with the theme as well. So, I mean, how did you come on to Sankey's? Um, well, last year I played... Uh, actually, last year, I, I knew at the end of the summer last year it was time for me to leave space to a certain degree. I've been playing there. I still play there this year, some parties, but it was, it was my time to really break away from... I knew there were certain changes going to happen at space. It was really time for me to break away um, and do my own thing. And uh, Dave Vincent called me at the end of last summer and said, you need to come to the club. Um, I want you to play. I said, look, I'm playing the space closing. Why don't we just create a, a, a new closing party um, a couple of days after space is finished. So we organised it literally four days before we did it. We did it, two and a half thousand people through the door. It was an amazing night. It really gave me a taste for the club and I really enjoyed playing that room and that sound system. And the rest is history. Nothing wrong. And Steve, look, I think um, your experience on the island, your experience as a DJ, producer, label manager as well, all of these things have definitely given to I'm you. Trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> They've given to you running a successful night on the island. But I mean, your experience on the island, having lived here and worked here for so many years. Steve, what do you reckon is your favourite thing about Abitha? Oh, that's, a, that's a hard, I mean, that's a hard question because what makes it be for so special is it, it has everything. Yeah. You know, if you want to go on a holiday and you want to have amazing beaches, Ibiza. If you want to go somewhere that has amazing restaurants, Ibiza. If you want to go somewhere that has amazing clubs, amazing music, Ibiza. So, I don't know what you choose to go on holiday for, but whatever it is, Ibiza is going to have it and in abundance. So, I think it's the fact that it has all this that makes it such an amazing location for people. Without a doubt. I mean, you're choosing to stay here all year round, aren't you? Yeah, and for me personally, the beauty of the island is the beauty of the island. I mean, I, I actually adore the winter for me the winter is actually better in, in, in Ibiza if you lived here you would understand what I meant by that but um, you know it's incredible I mean uh, my life changed dramatically just by moving here to live here all year round actually sure, it must be amazing so we're looking forward to doing our winter in Ibiza soon as well you're, you're in for a treat let me tell you. <laughs> Good stuff. and lastly Steve before we wrap up and you go and tear it apart over at Sankey's across the road tell us we're on Lucky Life TV so Steve what's going to be the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you uh, meeting my wife. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Like that answer. It always goes down well. <laughs> it's like what she's going to be watching. Yeah, she'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, listen, Steve, thanks so much for being a part of the Woolhouse Studios and Lucky Laugh photo shoot here in Ibiza. Wish you all the best with the rest of the season, mate, and uh, all the best for you, Warriors. Take care, mate. Bye.